The Texas Chainsaw Massacre is one of the most gruesome and terrifying horror films ever conceived in the 1970s. Its shocking and disgusting content offended so many people upon its release that it was consequently banned in several countries. Now that's what I call a horror film. Inspired by the real life story of serial killer Ed Gein, the Texas Chainsaw jumped at the chance to market itself as being based on a true story, placing a group of five teenagers on a road trip through rural Texas, who all fall prey to a murderous and cannibalistic family. This film gave off the impression that this could happen to anyone visiting Texas during the 1970s. And it's all because of this guy, the chainsaw-wielding, mutated savage psychopath known only as Leatherface, a nickname earned by wearing his victim's skin, a trait that would later go on to inspire the Buffalo Bill character in The Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, this dude was one deranged motherfucker, and one of the first real twisted badass characters that the horror genre ever really saw. Having spawned a further four films since its birth in 1974, the Texas Chainsaw franchise returned in 2003 for its first Hollywood remake, and again in 2006 for the prequel, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Beginning. Even with the inclusion of the incredibly hot Jessica Biel, all fail in comparison to the low-budget gore and macabre that made Toby Hooper's original Nasty one of the most disturbing yet practical examples of great horror. I mean, I was born 13 years after its creation, but still to this very day, 34 years on, the reputation that this film gained still means that it remains as one of the greatest and most influential horror films of all time, which gives the Texas Chainsaw Massacre a chainsaw shredding five popcorns.